you know, you talked about that um, pep down in, um, I think it was Houston, Texas. And you said he had 19 white women. At your peak, how many Dallas. women did you have? 17. I had 16. Okay, and he was in time, Dallas. So I normally kept by eight, but how I got to the 16, I was in uh, Indiana. I met this broad named Sensation. She was dancing at this club called Pure Passion. So uh, I went up in there. And she had eight wife-in-laws. Those are the other girls that belong to the other pimp. So when I took her, the whole stable came with her. And that's how I got up to 16 bras. Okay, so, and I know it's going to sound like a stupid question, but do do, do pimps have assistance? Like, like managing, you know, 16 people, that ain't an easy job. Like, you can go to a regular corporation and well, you, you got the CEO. Well, 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 what you do, the strategy to that is to keep them busy. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a program and if you really want to manage 16 bitches, right, mm -hmm. you know that at 9 o'clock, each one of them bitches need to be out the door. And they're not allowed to come back in until 6 or 7 in the morning. So when they come in, you can imagine they're tired as fuck, right? So you got 16 bitches laying around, but they all sleep. By the time they wake up around about 7, 8, they get something to eat, they wash, take a shower, then they back to work. So you don't, that's how you manage it, by not managing it, you know what I'm saying, keeping them busy. You know what I mean? Because an idle mind with a hoe is really the devil workshop. You can't really sit down and have a one-on-one -on -one with a hoe. You know what I'm saying? You want to keep her busy, she got to be work, work, work until that pussy hole squirt. Yeah, speaking of that, is it any days off for these women? Only day they get off is when they run off. So you telling me your women was working seven days a week straight? That's that's what they want. If you don't do that, they don't respect you. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, man. Hoes is more. Y'all always interview the pimps. Interview some of these hoes. Hoes are most some of the most ruthless motherfuckers on the planet. You got to remember. One thing about a bitch, she talked to thousands of niggas in the course of her career. You might talk to 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 bitches. She getting game from lawyers and doctors and all kind of motherfuckers. She hearing all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Me, she get the game before you get the game. She's choosing other pimps. She didn't been with maybe four or five different pimps. So she got game on all different levels. So when a woman see you and you try to cupcake her, she going first thing she going to say, Daddy, why is you acting like a square? I can go get this for one of my tricks. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And she's more comfortable, you know, being with a trick and being lovey-dovey with a trick than lovey-dovey with a pimp. Because if she see a pimp being lovey-dovey, she's going to say he's a buster. You know, he, weak, he a weak pimp. And people don't know that part about the game. It seems like it's the opposite. You know, ain't no love in this shit. It's, it's, it's a business. You know what I'm saying? Everybody hell in their business. And if you're lucky enough to be somebody that's astute in the game and know how the business go, you're going to be very prosperous. But if you thinking that this your girlfriend and this somebody that, you know, whatever, then, you know what I mean? You sadly mistaken. You're going to run into a lot of bricks and uh, forks in the road because hoes do not play. Hoes are ruthless. You know, hoes know way more than the pimps. They hear way more game than you hear. They getting gains from lawyers, from doctors, from police officers, from other hoes, you know. You only talk to that one bitch. Yo, this is so crazy. And, and you are breaking down the psychology of, of the game. It ain't just the game itself, but it's how the pimps think, how the prostitutes think. I would have never thought in a million years that they don't want a day off. If, if, you, if you are treating them um, a little better than the next man treat them, they looking at you like you not on your game. That's crazy think about, to me. Think about it, New York. Take it for example. When she go on the date, right? It's Dr. So-and-so, right? Mm -hmm. It's attorney so-and-so, right? It's businessman so-and-so. What is he doing? He's coming out of thousands of dollars. He's buying her food. He's buying her clothing. He's treating her extremely well, right? Uh -huh. She's getting all of her treatment and all the sex she wants in her job. She's if she if she likes it, she's in whole heaven, right? So then you come home 
and you the op, you the exact same as these guys. You're loving, you're caring, you know. What I mean, you're giving, you know. You you know you, you're romantic. She's gonna look at you how she look at him. So when she come in the door, the first thing I'm gonna tell her is wash the trick up off your ass, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You're in pimp domain to get her out of the psychology of her day-to-day -day activities of being a prostitute. She can't look at me in the same way she look at the trick. Therefore, she won't give me the money. I, it have to be something, some kind of uh, 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 dichotomy or some kind of separation line that separate me from the trick. So my behavior have to be totally opposite of the, the trick. It's weird, but that's the way it got to go. If I act like a trick, then she gonna treat me like one. See, when she see me, she can't see a T on my forehead. She got to see a P. Got you. Wow. You know, I mean, this, this is a lot right here. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.